What is up everybody, my name is Andrew and welcome back to our Space Engineers The Center mini-series. This is episode number eight and we are at our mini base. Uh, last episode we built that elevator in front of us, this uh, this butte right here, uh, that was able to go along this track. We were able to weld it as well as we went, which saved us a lot of time. And now we're at our mini base. With everything connected, we can now access our bottom base from our mini base. So huge episode last episode, it kind of changed the game a little bit. Uh, and now we're here. So what are we gonna do this episode? This entire episode we're gonna be spending up here at the mini base last episode I was teasing that maybe we just wouldn't go down to this to the uh, original base in this entire episode so I figure this episode we will do it that's a little bit ominous looking down isn't it <laughs> it's a little scary that goes down for almost a kilometer um, so yeah that, that's a bit scary but this episode we're gonna stay up here we're gonna weld up this base we're gonna prepare it for uh, future things by building some sort of like launch pad up there which we're gonna use uh, later to escape the center of the earth and we're gonna add a couple more things to this base as well as you know modify the elevator a little bit so let's go ahead and start out with something easy. We have all of these conveyors here from an earlier attempt at this conveyor thing right here. Uh, we were basically going to put them right there and then drill all the way down, which was going to be a nightmare. I'm glad we changed our mind, but we need to remove these because they're still here. Um, so what I think we're going to do is we're just going to do this the easiest way possible. We're going to go down here and then we're going to correct ourselves. Oh, actually, this isn't that. Well, you know, maybe the easiest way possible would be just to remove this and let it fall to the center. Um, what's the worst that would happen? Should we try it? Uh, how much speed would it pick up? It wouldn't. It, it probably would just disintegrate when it gets there. Uh, oh, it's a static grid. Okay, well in that case we can just do this. Let's just hop on this and ride it down. Uh, and then we'll have to use our jetpack to get back up. Why are we not... <laughs> I think we're frictioning against this tire right here and we're not really falling very well. Okay, let's just wait for it to get past us. Alright, last one right here. Let's remove this and let's, uh, I guess we'll static ourselves to this grid here and run up the side and then we can sneak into the ship like this. Never mind, we cannot do that. We will just instead use our jetpack and fly back up. Okay, it's fine. We have 22 left and uh, it's fine if we use a little bit of it. And by a little bit, I mean not even like 1% of it. Okay, let's, uh, that's now done. Let's do something I wanted to do uh, ever since we started making this mini base. I want to build a an ore detector um, because I want to see if there's any ores around here. We have our drill, which goes out 50 meters, but we can't detect any ores. Um, the ore detector, however, will go out 150 meters. So uh, if there are any ores down here, which is not very probable, we will see them. So let's go ahead and try and build an ore detector. Uh, we have one on our thing, on our hotbar already. Let's go ahead and place it right here. And if there are no ores, we can just remove this. It's not a big deal. We'll right click that. I don't know if we're gonna be able to use build planner for this because build planner is a little weird sometimes, uh, but we can at least do it manually. Are we out of uh, two, two motors, 24 steel plates? Okay, well let's go into our production then and tell it to make us some steel plates um, and construction components and motors. The one annoying thing actually about being up here is that if we ever want to, uh, we can do pretty much everything from this base. We can access the refineries, we can access the assemblers, etc. But if we ever want to get more stone uh, with our machines down there, we'll have to go all the way down there to reset them, which is fine because I like our bottom base. It's very nice. We built it. We built it very prettily purtily but uh yeah um so we'll have to go all the way down there for that but until then uh we can pretty much do everything from this space if we want to speaking of stone by the way we are going to need to go down there this episode in order to get more which uh will be fun okay the only thing we're missing are the uh, 20 detector components which we uh, haven't even put into production i don't think so let's go ahead and go to here and put our detector components into production uh, I thought we already had the detector components, but I guess not. Maybe we had a, an ore detector that we didn't remove uh, on that base. So that might that base might still have an active ore detector. In fact, we can check if we go in here and search ore detector. Yeah, so this one right here is an active ore detector that we're not really using at all. So we could have gone and just removed that one, but whatever. All right, one thing I'm gonna do real quick is I'm actually gonna yoink all the gravel and put it inside this connector because it's clogging up our uh, refineries. Not really to where it's a problem, but it will be a problem eventually. So I'm gonna go ahead and take all of it and put it in this connector, which currently doesn't really need the space. 
So we'll have all of our gravel in one place. And if we want to, eventually we'll just throw the gravel out because uh, we're not using it for anything. I know a lot of you have uh, earlier on in this series mentioned a gravel sifter mod, which will turn this gravel into um, useful materials. So if you are playing this yourself and you want to try that out, uh, the gravel sifter mod could help you with that. Uh, I'm trying to keep this as vanilla as possible, other than like mods like build vision and uh, some visual mods that I have. Um, which is why I'm not using Gravel Sifter, but if you wanted to use it, you could absolutely use it and that would probably make things a little easier. Um, okay, we're gonna go down to the bottom base because we need to get some stones. So let's start going down there. If I remember how to use this thing, we're gonna go and turn this parking brake off and we're gonna start getting down there. We should be able to go to about uh, 15 meters per second and be fine, 15 to 100. So let's keep going. And hopefully we don't break apart. Uh, I'm a little worried because uh, this is Space Engineers, and sometimes things are unexpected, so I'm a little worried this is going to bounce a little bit off the track and we're going to hit the wall or something, but we have quite a bit of clearance, so I shouldn't be that worried. And anyway, we're not really going that fast. What is 20 meters per second in uh, miles per hour? <laughs> Alright, we're starting to get a little bit close, so we're going to slow down a little bit. We're, we'll keep it under... Uh, I can't even see the... Okay, yeah, there we go. We'll keep it roughly around 5 meters per second so we don't bump on something and completely destroy ourselves because we're getting very, very close there. All right. Uh, and I've got to remember, so, see, we have the yellow right there and there's the red telling us that we should stop. Uh, it doesn't tell us that we should stop. It really tells us that if we're going fast, we should uh, slam on the brakes. That's pretty much what it means. But we'll go as low as we can. And can we even, if we can connect, that would be amazing. I don't think we'll be able to though. Oh no, we can, oh my gosh. It actually worked out perfectly. Okay, we can recharge down here. Let's let ourselves land, and I'd say that was a perfect descent, which I was not expecting at all. I was expecting this to be uh, like wonky and something, but it actually worked out like we expected it to, or like we wanted it to. Um, all right, we're down here. Let's go down to the main base, which by the way, I love this. I love what we did with this place. It looks really amazing. We just need to add some lights down here. Actually, you know what? Let's add some lights down here while we're up here, or while we're down here, so that it looks a little bit better. Okay, I've gone and done the lighting. I've uh, also cleaned up the sides and stuff, and we're gonna try and weld this stuff in as well while we're down here, uh, once we get a couple of steel plates in the uh, in the in the thing. But um, yeah, so this is basically it. Uh, we've got this kind of like yellowish lighting up top in the attic. Then we've got kind of a similar lighting style down here in the uh, main floor. And then the basement, if I stop launching myself off of random stuff, uh, we have a different lighting style. We have like a basement kind of blue lighting, so you know you're in the basement. It's very blue, like dangerous. I guess blue doesn't really exude uh, feelings of danger, but anyway, yeah, it's uh, we got all the lighting done. So now without our without our flashlight, we can uh, we can see uh, properly, which is nice. Um, okay, let's go down here. Let's deal with our rock situation, and then we will uh, deal with our energy situation, and then we'll come back up here and finish this uh, area off because it does need a little bit of. Uh, of love before we head back to the secondary base. All right, we went and got a little bit of stone with this guy right here. Um, it what it worked pretty well. We got a lot of stone from it. Um, our refineries are all working uh, with 12k stone there, 1k, 5k. Yeah, so that well, not all of them are working, but most of them are working. We still haven't uh, gotten this thing adjusted because it needs to come back still. It comes back pretty slowly. I don't want to make it go any faster. I doubled the speed that it was going, so it is going a little faster but uh, it is still kind of slow. Um, I'm just afraid of it clanging out and like flying all over the place, but yeah, let's let's let that thing come back. This thing is almost ready to be deconstructed. 56 minutes left. It's only got one point, or, uh, 198 kilowatt hours left. So uh, that's doing pretty well. If I turned off all these batteries, I bet you that would deplete really quickly. Um, we could get those batteries done. How's our refiner, how's our assembly queue work, uh, looking? We don't actually have an assembly queue. Okay, so here's what we're gonna do then. Let's run over here. We're gonna get these sorted. We're gonna right click uh, all these. Oops. Build planner capacity reach. Wait, what's in my build planner? Oh, all this stuff. Okay, we're gonna put that all into production and then let it uh, build all that stuff. And then that's going to give us three more batteries for the base, which, are, which these are gonna be able to work with. Okay, here's one battery. All right, here's our second warfare battery. And our third Warfare Battery. Okay, while we're down here, I'm gonna set one of these to recharge mode. And I must all set two of them to recharge mode, actually. Uh, so they should steal all the power from this guy in a few minutes. Uh, yep, two minutes. We'll let that happen, and then we'll destroy this guy right here. And uh, that'll be nice. Oh my gosh, yeah, this is doing pretty well, actually. It's getting quite a bit of stone there. 
Yep, all of our refineries are full. The drills are not even close to full, so I'm fine with uh, with them continuing to drill. But yeah, I'd say we're doing pretty well on uh, stuff. All right, this battery is now completely empty. Let's go ahead and remove it because it's got no power in it. We're gonna lose all those power cells, but it doesn't matter. Uh, let's go over here and turn these guys on to normal mode so they're not recharging. Normal and normal. Okay, awesome. Uh, that's, a, that, I mean, now we have some space, <laughs> some extra space, nice. Uh, okay, so we've got that set up, we've got this working. Let's go up here and finish the uh, the little base bit that we wanted to uh, weld up. So all this stuff up here, we're gonna try and weld up and uh, and get looking nice. Wait, how have you not built girders? And we do have girders, you're just not giving them to me. There are girders, but what did I make? Hang on. Why did I make so many radio components? Whoops. All right, we're well on our way to getting this stuff welded up. These are gonna be the hard part because these require a lot of different things that are kind of annoying to get, uh, but the rest just require steel plates. Okay, there we go. All of this is done now. Let's do the, uh, let's do the steel plate stuff. All right, everything is welded up now and uh, this is perfect. Okay, um, let's, I think we're pretty much ready to head back up to the top. Because uh, this entire base is pretty much done. Uh, although, let me grab this block right here. Fly in. And I'm going to do some painting. Alright, there we go. It is perfect. The entire base is uh, nice and clean. And it's lit and everything. We can turn off our flashlight and we can still see. So that's pretty nice. Although, that's not very lit. <laughs> but, whatever. Okay, let's head back to the main base. Or the, not main base, the uh, secondary base. And we'll do work up there. All right, let's head back to that base. Uh, recharge off, disconnect, and we are ready to go. So let's go. Uh, we're gonna get up to a speed of maybe 15. Let's turn on our flashlight. Never mind, we all have a flashlight. I would have to get out to turn on my flashlight, which I'm fine without, I think. This elevator works so much better than I thought it would, by the way, coming at you uh, at night, <laughs> apparently. Okay, you know what, this is crazy. Let's, let's, let's stop ourselves. Hop out for a second, turn on our light. There we go, now we can see. <laughs> okay, and we continue. Like I said, this elevator works very crazy. It accelerates very well, it decelerates very well. We can pretty much stop on a dime, almost. Um, I like it. And we can go pretty fast if we want to. Uh, we're going very fast. What is, uh, what is 25 meters per second in miles per hour? Okay, let's slow ourselves down. Uh, and we should be able to just to get in here with no problem. Yep, let's uh, bring it all the way up right here, park it, and hop out. All right, that's perfect. We can just step, never mind. We're gonna have to use a little bit of jetpack to get here, but not that much, so it's fine. Um, it'd be nice to have a ladder here. Do we have, oh right, we don't need a ladder because when you... it's we built perfectly right here where it doesn't correct you if you're like uh, wonky right here, it doesn't correct you at all. But if you go up just one step, it corrects you because you're high enough to where it's like, oh, the gravity should correct you this way. So that's nice. That's a good good build in my opinion. Oh shoot, we're down to 21 now. So we used the we used the jetpack fuel. Okay. Well, uh, back to this. We wanted to build the detector components. Let's see if we have our 20 detector components ready yet. Uh, are you guys ready? There's two. Oh gosh, they're everywhere. All these detector components. Let's just let's just use build planner here. Right click it. We'll hop in here, and we have to use this button, because it doesn't work if I just middle mouse button anymore, because we're on a separate grid. For some reason, it does, like, it does not like that, but uh, yeah, okay. So our detector component's up, and uh, it's not at the maximum range yet. Let's go ahead and turn it to full range, see if we can get any materials here. 150 meters. Well, uh, I'm not seeing any materials, so I'm guessing there's just nothing around here. Um, 150 meters is pretty far, keep in mind. That's that's a kilometer, so 150 meters is uh, like one eighth of that or whatever. It's more like a seventh actually. It's like a seventh of that distance right there. So it's pretty far, one 150 meter radius around here. Um, so if there are no materials there, I mean perhaps there are more materials if we go any or if we go higher. But I don't plan on making another mini base. I think this is our only mini base. From here, we're going to create some sort of vehicle that's going to go up there. Uh, which, by the way, is one of the things we're going to do in this episode. Not create the vehicle, but create the little launch pad that's going to help us create the vehicle and what we're going to do for that is we're going to build something like this uh, we're going to basically just build a platform 
right here. But anyways, yeah, the platform itself will just be basically this. It's just a small little platform with enough room to build some sort of vehicle. And the vehicle we're going to build is going to be very similar to the elevator down there. Um, but kind of inverted. So the elevator here has a shaft that it's working with. So it has wheels connecting to the shaft that's going to allow it to go up. Um, this one that we're going to build probably maybe next episode. Maybe the ep maybe we'll do it on episode 10 because presumably when we build this, that'll be the episode that we escape. So that'll be the final episode of this mini series. Um, but uh, yeah, it's going to be a little inverted because we don't have a shaft here. Uh, keep in mind, this is kilometers and kilometers and kilometers. It took me a long time to build this pole right here, and this was only one kilometer. This is going to be like 20, 40 times that, 80 times. I don't know how, how far it is exactly off the top of my head. So this is going to be many, many tens of times the distance that we did down here. So there's no way I'm building some sort of uh, pole like that. So we're going to instead have the wheels on the outside. So instead of going up a pole, the wheels are going to go up the side of the wall. Yeah, it should work out perfectly. Um, again, a lot of you want to see me mine out of here, but it's going to take like so long to mine out of here. It would take absolute ages to do so. Um, just because, you know, mining in this game kind of goes slowly, they don't expect you to be mining kilometers and kilometers of, uh, of stuff out. So we're not going to do any mining to get out of here. Um, Although if you guys really want to see that, maybe we'll do an episode of Space Busters or something where we'll attempt to mine out of the center of the Earth. Um, but that would be a very, very long time lapse to try and get out. All right, anyways, while we're building this thing, let's expand this out just a little bit on the sides here. Uh, I want to expand it one more block on each side. All right, there we go. That's a pretty good start. Uh, so what we're going to do as well is we're going to take this. And in fact, you know what? We already have this block over here. Let's, let's follow this up until it... Uh, ends, which is like over here somewhere. Okay, it ends right about there. What I'm going to do then is I'm going to take this block. Do I want to take this block actually? Hang on. Connect that to our base just in case. Okay, we're going to remove this block right here and replace it with a T-junction because that's going to let us uh, mess with it up here. So T-junction should go that way. Perfect. Let's go and make sure that it's still, uh, it's still going the right way. And we can remove the extra blocks we added for um, stability. So let's make sure we can still access stuff from the main, from the, uh, main base, like the assembler stuff. Yes, we can. Awesome. Okay. All right. Now with that area that we just made up here, we're going to turn it around this way. Uh, and I think we're just going to use a normal one of these guys because I, I really like these steel plate ones. They look really good. Uh, so we're going to turn that around this way and we're going to add ourselves a connector up here as well so that we can access the uh, base stuff from up here. So we now have access to the base stuff from up here and we have access to it down there, which is going to be really helpful for us. So like if we wanted to grab all the steel plates to weld this stuff, we can go in here. Boom, grab a bunch of steel plates and we'll, we're pretty much good. All right, perfect. Now we have this all welded up and it's looking good and ready for uh, what we're going to do. Um, now this is going to change actually. I'm going to uh, mine out this a little bit. We're actually going to add a staircase here on the side, so we don't have to use that makeshift staircase that we added down here. All right, we can get our first set of stairs in here. So we're going to go down three, wait, three, two, two sets of stairs. Uh, maybe we'll go down three. Yeah, probably three. All right, one, two, three. Then we're going to turn around to the right here and we're going to do the same thing. All right, we have enough room now to put all the rest of the staircases. So let's turn this around. Staircase, 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 and we should have our full way up. Okay, this is our normal way up now. We don't need the uh, this way up here anymore. We can remove that, replace it with one of these, and there we go. We now have a full um, a full thing. So we now have our normal staircase as well that we can go down. Okay, pretty nice. Let's go ahead and uh, and weld in a lot of these blocks as well because we're here, so might as well. Okay, starting with these ones. I would really love some cobalt right about now so that I can just <laughs> get myself a better welder. <laughs> Because we're doing a lot of welding, and it's very slow without, like, an upgraded welder. Alright, it's pretty much welded up, um, and I think it's looking pretty nice, this base up here. Uh, it, this, there's not much on it yet, but it's, it's looking pretty well, or pretty good. Alright, our secondary base is looking pretty good. The last thing I really want to do to it is add a couple lights, and then it's pretty much ready for anything we want to do with it. There's a couple of unfinished blocks here and there, but it's, uh, it's pretty good. We can do most of the stuff we want to here. So let's add a couple lights, make it look a little bit nice, and then we will uh, we'll head back down to the bottom base. Uh, I said earlier on in this episode that we weren't really going to do much with the bottom base, but uh, what I want to do is I want to um, I want to do some editing to the elevator, and the only way I can do that is if I have a uh, a way. Actually, you know what? Maybe we don't have to go to the bottom base. 
Um, let's add the lighting first, but I might be able to add a catwalk thing up there. Uh, and then we can work on the elevator up there. Let's let's see. So we'll, we'll start out with the lights and uh, work from there. All right, here's some of the lights. Uh, I walled off one side as well to see how it looked, and I kind of like the look. I don't know if I'm going to wall... Well, maybe I should wall off all the sides. It would look pretty good. Uh, yeah, I think it would look actually really good if we walled off that side. Maybe this side. Probably just that side, actually. Uh, so let's wall off this side. Let's get the lights up there uh, working, and maybe we'll get some lights up there as well. All right, that's looking pretty good. We have some lights up here. I added a, a tiny wall back here as well. A lot of these are half blocks, by the way. Uh, half blocks on here. We have some full blocks on the corners, and these are full blocks as well. But most of these on the sides are half blocks. But I think it's starting to look pretty good. Um, this is temporary. I still don't know what we're going to do with it. Maybe it's not temporary. <laughs> Maybe it's just permanent. Um, but, uh, but yeah, it's starting to look pretty good. We've got lights up here. When our flashlight's on, it's super bright. But when it's off, it looks pretty good, I have to say. Um, up here, we still need to add a couple lights, so uh, let's add a couple up here. I don't know if I'm going to wall this off. Yeah, I don't know what I'm going to do with this, actually. Let's just add a couple lights, and we'll maybe wall it later. By later, I meant now. Uh, we have added most of a wall, and we've added lights up here, too, so it looks a lot brighter. A bunch of half blocks over here so we can get these welded up, and uh, we pretty much have a complete area. We'll go and explore the base in a second. Is that everything? Okay, yeah, that's pretty much everything. Uh, this wall, I don't know what we're going to do about this wall yet. Um, I think we're probably going to end up walling it off like everything else, but yeah. Oh my gosh, that's scary. Okay, um, when we come downstairs, it's looking good. We have lights down here. Uh, we can see everything without the use of our flashlight. We have our control station up here with lights. Everything is looking good uh, on this space. I think it's, it's looking really good. Again, ominous. <laughs> Very ominous looking down there, but... Um, but yeah, we've got lighting. That's good. All right, final thing I think we're going to do is a little bit of elevator work. Let me see. Do I have interior plates? Uh, do I have any on here that I can grab? 16. I want a little bit more. There we go. 53 interior plates to work with. I want to try something. Let's see if this works. We're going to build a, uh, a little platform right here and just make it go about this way like that. Uh, and then we're going to go up there. So this is added on to this. So we should be able to just walk across this and, and like mine uh, this stuff right here. I want to do some stuff to the elevator. Except I don't really want to go down to the other base to do it, even though the other base has the equipment, like the uh, the positioning to do it. I like the gravity here better, because I don't have to worry about getting stuck and having to uh, flip myself and stuff like that. So I want to do it right here, if, if uh, possible. Um, and in fact, I'm actually going to jump on here real quick to see if I can get a little bit of this, because I don't like these bits. And when I said I don't have to worry about getting stuck, I meant I do still have to worry about getting stuck sometimes. Still, the best way to mine is doing this, pretty much. Building a little block up to uh, to let us get up there. But anyway, we don't need to mine that out. We just need to go up here. Doing this, we now have access to the uh, the top of the elevator if we want to. Um, I wish I could build along... I mean, I guess I can, but the elevator's not corrected uh, the right way. So I don't really want to build up along this. What I want to do, actually, instead is just mine out this area while I'm here. Because it should... It, it's easy enough. And we could, uh, we could place a little bit more wall over here. Okay, let's go grab a little bit more energy while we're uh, while we're a little low. Ooh, I kind of like the look of that. It'll be even nicer when it's welded up. You guys want to see what I can do with the power of editing, though? Three, two, one, bam! Check it out. It's now done. Uh, which it does look nicer, I have to say. Um, but anyway, thank you, editing magic, for that. Uh, let's try and uh, try and work on the elevator now. Okay, so we're gonna use these two blocks right here, and actually, let's change this one out for one of uh, one of these ones right here. Uh, that should let us get onto the ship. Awesome. And we can remove these drills. We don't need them anymore. They've done their job. Thank you, drills. You were very helpful. Uh, we can also... Okay, we've got to be a little careful here. Oh, they were trying to weld that. Okay. This actually has stuff in it, probably, so I don't think I can um, remove them quite yet. We're going to have to get rid of the drills first. Okay, do you have stuff in you? Uh, the answer is no. Okay, so we can remove that. The other one might have stuff in it, though. This one might have stuff in it. I don't I don't know for sure. If it does, it's all gonna fall. Yep. It's okay, we'll go get it in a second. Yoink! Oh, that was our, pretty much our full inventory. Can I get some stuff from down here from here? Ooh, yeah. Okay. Jump! Yeah, oh my god, that was cool. Okay, we got I think we got pretty much everything that was up there. Okay, so what we're gonna do now is we're gonna go up a little bit. One block, I think. Actually no, we don't even need to. Let's uh let's do the thing we did with the tires again, so. 
We'll search for a wheel. We'll grab our three by three and we'll place it basically two of them like that. So this is gonna give us a little bit of uh, cushioning on the top, or it should, that's what it's supposed to do. Uh, and yeah, we have a lot more room we can go with the elevator too, because we can go all the way up to there if we want to. Uh, I could even add uh, wheels up there if I wanted, but I think it's gonna be fine. Let's um, build planner one of these, and we're gonna use the trick you guys taught me to, to grab 10 of the item. So if I hold control and click it, it'll give me 10 of the item, which it has done. Now I can remove it from my build planner manually because when you do 10, it doesn't remove it for you, which is good in some cases. Um, in other cases, you might have to remove it after. But anyway, let's get these built up. Okay, now that that's built up, we have plenty of, uh, of, of security, I guess, from hitting things. Let's go get a couple more steel plates. Where are we? Okay, I guess we're stuck in here now. Let's go get a couple more steel plates and continue building this. Okay, so one of the things I'm going to add to our elevator on this side right here is I'm going to add a rotating light so we can have a nice, uh, we need a motor, so we can have a nice orange rotating light, like a utility style thing. I think that would look cool. Let's grab 10 motors, just so we have them. Um, and then we're going to add a couple spotlights as well, which, speaking of, I don't even know if I have enough for a spotlight. I didn't check what they require, but hopefully I do. Ah! Okay. There we go, rotating light. We'll change that to orange later. Uh, I wanna add some spotlights as well. So maybe one on each side right there, I'll add a spotlight. I guess I can use these offset spotlights. These would look pretty good. Okay, so we now have that uh, rotating light, which is gonna be rotating. And we have these spotlights, which are gonna be spotting. Um, I'm gonna bring the ship up a little bit so that we can add some spotlights on the bottom as well. So let's go ahead and uh, we should be able just to do this. Bring it up a tiny bit. There we go, we hit the top. And we can now add some spotlights here. All right, I've gone ahead and added a couple lights to the uh, the elevator. So first of all, we have the spotlights, which I can turn on with these buttons right here. That turns on the bottom spotlights, which let us see all the way down there, and the top spotlights, which let us see pretty much that, because we have something blocking what's up there. Uh, and then we have the side lights, which are these ones. If I turn them on, they're very bright. There's a lot of them. <laughs> they're on each side, basically, uh, and they light up the area around the elevator. Uh, oh, I have a couple that I need to do. That shouldn't be too hard if I go up there. But anyways, I also changed the look of the elevator a little bit by adding a couple more blocks. Uh, I, I hid the bottom right here, so the front, um, the, the bottom is hidden. Um, the, the side I made a little bit more durable with these blocks over here and a couple more blocks down here. The back, I completely hid everything. You can't see the, the, uh, the wheels or anything from the back, and the side is mimicking the other side. So. Uh, they look a little bit, or it looks a little bit different, uh, but yeah, a couple, a couple of elevator changes are always nice. There's one of them. The other one, can we get? We might have to jump down for it. Yep, there we go. Awesome. Um, elevator change is always nice. Uh, I think it's looking pretty good for uh, for this. Um, here's where I think we're going to end the episode because it's been going for a little bit and we've done quite a bit here on this base. Uh, a lot of these blocks that aren't welded are temporary blocks, so we'll remove them. In fact, some of them we'll even remove right now because we don't need them anymore. But, um, but yeah, that's going to be the end of this episode. Lots of changes. Next episode, we're going to... I don't know what we're going to do, actually. Let me know what you guys want to see next episode because I think we're going to hold off on going to the center, or the, not the center, but the... Uh, the top, which is, would be up here. Um, we're gonna hold off on doing that until episode 10, because I think that'll be a really good episode. So next episode, we'll do something intermittently. Maybe we'll work on this base. Maybe we'll work on the base below us. Maybe we'll do something, whatever you guys want to see. Let me know in the comments and we'll uh, we'll work on that next episode. And then the episode after that, we'll try to, uh, to get out of here. In fact, maybe we'll start the ship next episode. Uh, we'll start working on it and then episode 10, we'll finish it and, and, uh, and dip. So I don't know. Um, but yeah, if you guys liked this episode, please, please hit the like button, put your comments and your suggestions down below in the comments section, and I will see you guys in the next episode of Space Engineers The Center.